Alright uh, guys, just had the, uh, the traditional forage fired up. Just knocked it off now, just had to warm some brackets for one of my friends. Just gone down the back of there, letting them cool off. Just for repairing a radial arm drill, once a load of work doing to it. Uh, meanwhile, I've had a steel delivery for making three tables I've got to make. Uh, I've got a weather vane I need to repair. And I'm currently just cutting up these boards for making my axe handles. So it's a nice grain pan, if you look down the end here. Really nice. Nice tight grain. So, I'm just working my way through that at the moment. I'm going to make a brew. So I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Oh, and I got a new fan. One of my mates brought me a fan round, which is nice. I'll keep it cool this summer. Bloody gorgeous day. So here's another piece. I've got loads of, they're not perfect, like I said, they've got bark from the back end, but they're way thicker than I need. So I think I'm gonna make as much, I've got some lens there for the short handles. These I'm gonna make some splitters, some longer handles, 36, 35, 36 inch handles. Um, got one round here in the back of the van. Hold on, I'll show you. So this will be used for a splitter. You can see the grain orientation. A straight grain, curves a bit there, but it's, it's ideal really. Just super thick, so I'll make a few of them. Use this as my template. <laughs> I've got loads of this where it's just, uh, the grain's, are, you know, that way. Whereas that, it's running long ways, where it's tight, which is ideal for the short handles. I'll just have to um, basically work through the stock that I've got here. This is all the stuff I got for a job. Some underneath as well, a load of it. So it's need processing all that now into handles. So that's what we're doing today. So here's some of the slabs. Just mark them out to get rid of the, obviously the, the knots and stuff, so I'll cut around them and uh, get, make these into handles. This is the saw we'll be cutting on. Great big motor. About 15 horsepower apparently. That's a Okay, so these are the ends. There's some of it, the rest of it's in the uh, in the forge. So I'll just start moving all that now. Clean up this mess. Okay, so there's the... There's the handles. Plenty to be working at now, so I need to cut them out. I'll do that home on the band saw. That's not knots, that's just uh, burnt a little bit where it's been cut in, got pinched. Um, that's just firewood, there's too many knots in there. And then here's obviously some of the uh, larger ones. The grain's running the opposite way. 
So I need to thin these down, obviously. They're way too thick anyway, but there's a lot of bark, so... We'll get what we can out of these. The bigger handles. That's that ready for today. Most of you out there, sorry. So these ones have just not, like you say, just got a knot there, but the rest of it's great. It's good wood. So I will uh, I'll just lop them off. So like 12 inch handles, smaller handles for the little camp axes. And then these are probably suitable for draw knife handles. And you know, even if they're not, it's just firewood. It's not the end of the world, but it's a nice, decent grain. It's just obviously there's a knot fall there, annoyingly, so. 12 inch handles would be ideal, the little axes. So there's quite a bit there for plenty to keep me busy for a while. So yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with that. These are all no good. Like I say, cracks, knots. So this is literally just firewood. Maybe some small knife handles out of these. Oh, that one would probably be okay. And then these are just the edge bits with the bark. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Tidy up now because there's loads of dust everywhere. That's me done for today, guys, so I'll catch you later.